Rumor, Bungie is working on Destiny 3 codename Payback. Because right now we do know that the final shape, I think, is the last DLC coming out for the game. We were thinking that they would just kind of switch over to working on Marathon, but it seems like another Destiny game might be in the works, which is kind of interesting as it's been 2017. So it really hasn't been that long since Destiny 2 was released. So kind of surprising to hear that Destiny 3 is being worked on, especially for all the work they put into Destiny 2, but also how out of the situation Destiny 2 is in at the moment. And this is a rumor, keep that in mind. It's more important to kind of get the idea of what they're talking about in this article rather than taking it for their word. It might not even be Destiny 3. It could be a spinoff that's tied within the Destiny universe or something like that. So apparently a Reddit user uh, shared some more details on the payback code name rumor destiny 3. Let's we'll just click on this right here. Wait, this is what this person based this entire article off? It was just this? Saying don't read too far into payback? That title that person put for their article, like that's reading a lot into it. Let's see what it says. I see I've seen some speculation on this front and want to set the record straight. Code name payback does not mean we lose the final shape or after the episode 3. To be frank, I know nothing more than any of you about uh, the episodes. The internal codename for D3 is not a reference to any story events. Rather, codename Payback refers to Bungie getting payback against themselves by creating something they hope everyone will love. I do not know if there are any plans for Destiny 2 items to carry over to Destiny 3. This is for r slash Destiny 2 leaks. Very anonymous Reddit user right here. Is that really all this article is about? I would think that there would be a Destiny 3 in the works just because of how insanely popular Destiny has been. And at this point right now, they are coming across like actual limitations with the game where they have to take out content because there's so much more being added into it. Uh, Destiny 3 codename Payback is reportedly in development at Bungie as revealed by the Redditor user in the same comment. Uh, the leak suggests that Destiny 3 could mark a seismic shift in the franchise's mechanics, moving away from the class-based system and allowing players to spec into any ability. Have we, we've heard this before, but it's like class-based games and you try to open it up for players and it always backfires because people like those limitations because it recreates roles that people need to fulfill, which creates more specification within the gameplay so it doesn't become so generic or washed over or washed out, I guess is the way to put it. But one of the big changes for Destiny 3 is, was again, I don't know, for classes to no longer exist, allow any character to spec into any ability since lore wise, there is no reason you couldn't. When you ever you tie your gameplay directly to lore, that's when you have some problems. Make the gameplay and then you write lore around the gameplay. I don't know if they would ever get rid of the class system. I think they could add new classes. Destiny 2's executive creator, Luke Smith, has teased the future of Destiny 2 and the franchise in the Final Shapes preview live stream, saying that Bungie will reveal more details on what's to come next in the world of Destiny 2 after players face the witness in the upcoming expansion, June 4th of this year. I mean, call it the final shape. It kind of just alludes that like it's like the final DLC. Bungie has also kind of just kept alluding to it being like the last update for the game, but haven't really said it out front, but like you call it the final shape. It seems like a battle against like the ultimate bad guy kind of thing. The story of Destiny 2 or just Destiny in general has just been so lackluster. Like I don't really care about like the lore of the game. I care more about the gameplay and I play a, I used to play a lot of Destiny 2. Uh, once the uh, Last Wish, I think it was called, DLC came out, right? Where K died in that DLC story arc. I played a lot then, but then it just kind of fell off with like other games being released and stuff like that. These are some real speculative rumors coming across, coming from coming from Reddit users that don't even have names. They just have numbers because they don't want to get banned. It's very much like trust me, bro, kind of rumors going around right at the moment. I'll wait until I see some more credible insiders talk about it. Like if you see like Jazz Corden or Tom Henderson or anybody else talking about it, I believe it. If it's like a trust me, bro, redditor talking about Destiny Three and details about that a lot of times it's false sometimes they can be true i remember back when andromeda was being rumored about right that we didn't even know what the next mass effect game was going to be a person did a survey for what people want in the next game and they revealed the details of that survey which were actual details about andromeda before andromeda was even announced and at first i thought it was a bunch of bs because it, it was from a redditor or my trust me bro source but ended up being true. So sometimes these are accurate, but a lot of times they're not. Details that are in this are so vague and would be so drastic to the gameplay of Destiny that I couldn't really see that happening. Every game that I've seen it has a class-based system. And once they try to remove that to give player freedom of how they want to play, it waters down the gameplay where everyone finds just like a meta build and everyone just plays as that. We saw this happen with 
uh, Battlefield 2042 when they removed the classes for like the hero system. They didn't exactly work out in their favor. They ended up bringing back classes and it seems like the next Battlefield game will be bringing back classes. Every time I hear about game developers removing core pillars of like that kind of stuff within their game, it just never pans out right. It waters down the gameplay because that's the fun part about having classes that you get to specify your role within the game. You get to feel like you did your part, right? You're a healer, you're a DPS guy, you're the tank, you know, you're the guy who deals with the boss, you're the guy who deals with ads. Like you have your own specified role, so you feel like you have your own reason why to be in there. But if everyone can kind of just be what they want to be, which sounds great, but then when you think about it, it actually isn't that fun. Like I said, like people just gravitate to meta builds and they all just kind of do the same thing. I'll definitely follow this to see if anything else comes from Destiny 3, but I doubt we'll really get anything concrete. Well, I guess we'll wait till after the final shape releases to hear from Luke Smith where he was talking about what's going to be happening with Destiny 2 after that. Maybe we what the future might be. It'd be kind of cool to see if we do get like a teaser when it comes to whatever the next game will be. Like we do know that Bungie is currently working on Marathon. We'll kind of assume like that would be the next Bungie game, but it seems like from what we've heard from other rumors that like that game is kind of in development limbo where it's like it's trying to figure out what it wants to be. Apparently we heard rumors that when Tarkov players played Marathon, they didn't really find it that engaging or fun to play. They maybe hit the drawing board back with that one. Luckily, they didn't get themselves a time frame when they were going to release it because that would have been real messy. So the future of Bungie is interesting and we really just have to wait and see. Of course, like whenever we do get some more information about Destiny 3 Marathon or whatever the future of Destiny 2 will be, we'll definitely cover it here on the channel.